Over the last 10 years, attackers have been using AI to automate malware uh, generation. And these instances of malware propagate throughout the internet and attack companies. Uh, current defenses use signatures and sandboxes, and they get overwhelmed by these malware variants. At Blue Hexagon, we've developed the world's first real-time, deep learning-based threat detection platform. We've been using the AWS platform to generate our models using deep learning. And then we uh, deploy these models on devices to detect threats. Well, what's really interesting is that we've seen deep learning become really, really effective on speech as well as image problems. And they've been really, really successful at detecting um, objects, for example. So if you look at the same problem, um, if you look at security, it's a similar problem is that in that the, the signals are very, very complex on the network. And so we knew that deep learning would have some effectiveness in detecting these threats. But we were really surprised at how effective it really was. We're getting 99% plus of efficacy in detecting threats on um, these gigabit networks using deep learning. And that's an order of magnitude better than what others are using at, the, at currently. Right, I mean, the bad guys are always gonna look at creative ways of creating malware that we won't be able to catch. But what I think deep learning gives you an opportunity to do is to create these models that generalize really, really well to be able to catch extremely uh, subtle changes that, they're, that are made to malware code, and our, our system is able to detect that. Obviously, it's not 100%, but we've, we're doing a lot better than what known techniques are doing today. Well, what's happening, if you look globally, um, there are about 136 million new malware variants that are generated every year, as reported by the Wall Street Journal. And these spread throughout you know, the globe. Um, no organization is really immune to being infected by malware, and everybody cares. Um, insurance industries care, um, the finance industry cares, uh, the state and uh, local governments care because they've actually been hit by ransomware. So there's always a malware that's out there, a type that everyone cares about. And we've really been surprised by the fact that almost every industry that we've talked to has some level of vulnerability and are concerned about um, malware making it through their defenses. Well, I think what's really interesting is that I did see an opportunity. Um, I think what's really interesting is that I realized that deep learning had transformed both vision and speech, but no one had really used it on network threats, a very significant challenge that the world faces today. And I saw that opportunity and you know, I had a core team that had worked with me before. We all together decided this was a good thing to go after and we did. And, and we're pretty pleasantly surprised by the uh, reception we've gotten both from our customers and partners like Amazon. So one of the great things about using deep learning is that it can understand the types of things that attackers may be able to generate in the future. And so the unknown threats that we talk about are really these variants. And what we've done is in our training infra infrastructure that we built on AWS, we've looked at a lot of existing samples, curated those data sets, and we've built these models that are able to protect, predict variants that that could be generated by these attackers, and that's what we actually catch when we inspect the network using our models.